right after COVID, we missed a couple of curriculum adoption cycles. And so we had adopted uh, quite a few different curriculums last year. So we went through the curriculum adoption process. And part of that process was bringing in me as the technology integration specialist to be a part of that team. And so as we're looking at new curriculum and more and more new curriculum that's coming out is coming out digital. And it was really important for me to take a look at that and look at it and, and know that it's not just an e-reader, but it actually has some interactivity tools included with that. Um, with a lot of these tools, they automatically include the read aloud piece, which is nice for a lot of our students, but then we can also layer on top the Google read and write for those e-texts that don't have the read aloud feature. So we can kind of layer those two together, but we're also looking at other accessibility features. Can, can you zoom in? Can you use the magnifier to enlarge the text? Do the pictures have alternate text so screen readers can read them aloud? So we do have a an accessibility piece built into each of our rubrics. The first one is just our basic technology rubric for instructional materials, and that is for all instructional materials that we look at. We go through not only to look at the easeability of use, does it save student progress, how is the interactivity works, and then it also talks about the accessibility features. And then when we're looking at adopting for a specific content team, we often do, we bring that team together who are going to be the pilot teachers to do some reading on best practices of teaching within that content. And then we adapt the rubric based on the best practices of that content, make sure that it's meeting the needs of all of our learners in our classroom at that time. And I think a really key point that Katie made there too, right, is that bringing together of teams, right? So expertise that we have within our districts, making sure when we're making choices, instructional choices at a district level or even a classroom level that we have multiple perspectives and expertise in order to help support that 